What's going on guys? It is January 31st. Me and my dad here are headed up to uh, Grand Marais, Michigan to meet up with my Uncle Joe, uh, Cousin Joey, and Uncle Marty. We're gonna do some snowmobiling for about a week straight. It's about to be an absolute blast. We got about, oh, an eight and a half hour drive ahead of us. So uh, we'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty, so we just stopped for lunch here in, I uh, forget the town, but we're about two hours away from good old Verbo. Just stopped at this, oh, it's a barbecue spot, but they only had burgers and brats, and it was amazing. Little uh, step back into time, had a really old school jukebox and stuff, but uh, we really liked it. Yep. All right, guys, we made it. We are in Gwen, Michigan right uh, right out of outside of marquette it is unreal snow is coming down we have this nice verbo here vrbo whatever and uh yeah stay tuned for a little tour all right guys so first things first we got a little entryway room boom might be a little bright Oh man, this is gonna be perfect for breaking down right after we get off the snowmobiles. Sick kitchen, bigger than years past. Bang. Freaking bunk beds, bro. Sheesh. The bathroom? The bathroom action, okay. Okay. First big room. Uh, it's gonna be a little, a little tighter than years past, but gonna work out real real nice master bathroom a little dark oh dark no big deal no big deal guys it's gonna be an absolute blast of a week i cannot wait to share this content with you yeah look at this snow look at this snow oh my goodness the travel day has come to an end we are in michigan officially ready to do some snowmobiling here now i want to show you guys what it looks like with all of our gear in it essential this baby Come over here keeping the gear safe. good morning it is january 31st january 31st uh good old monday here in michigan we are gonna be hitting our first ride today. Probably gonna be short, just test out the sleds and whatnot. Got some good sleep last night, somewhat. I heard my uncle Marty snoring through about three different rooms, which is kind of impressive in uh, some ways. So I'll keep you guys posted with a gear update here when I get all, all ready, so. All right, guys, we're gearing up for a ride here. Uh, quick little tips here. Layering, right? You got you to layer. You got to eat through two, two pairs of socks on, two pairs of, you know, undershirts, whatnot, and you tuck them in. You overlap, okay? Uh, other thing right here, this boot dryer, super important, okay? Heat up the boots, heat up the gloves. Best way to do it, put on warm gloves, put on warm boots. It's awesome. But yep, all right. I'll see you out on the trail, guys.
This has been in the shop about 10 times for that too. Solid ride today, about uh, 85 miles. The sleds ran really, really nice. We had some trouble getting the uh, purple one started today. You'll see that probably early. Tomorrow we're looking at about 120 mile ride. Hell of a time out here, hell of a time. Can't wait to share it with you. I'll follow those tracks out there. All right, day two of riding, day three actually up here. Um, we're gearing up, I just got Got the gear on, started uh, overlapping some clothes, tucking some shit in. Remember, that's the biggest key to staying warm out here. 120 mile-ish ride today. Going to, what's it called? Big Bay, Big Bay Lighthouse. Gonna stop up there, see what's going on. Filming location for a Jimmy Stewart movie. Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, see you on the trail. Going straight, we'll go left. I hear you. Okay. I say we get an MXC 600. That long track. Deck it out, though. I don't know. Alrighty guys, we are back in from the trip here. Uh, 150 mile ride today. Should have been in about three hours ago, but uh, we made it. Technical difficulties, you know how that goes. Gotta fill the sleds up with some oil, get all the gear off, hang up keys and stuff. Dinner in the crock pot, so that's pretty solid. Eating dinner at uh, 12.30 at night here. So that's, how the, that's how the day's going. All right, see ya. She says, I don't care, shut it, shut it, because we were not hey, and, and, and you know, she tells the people, all right, it's Wednesday here. We uh, got in about 12.30 last night, stayed up until about 1.30 or two, eating dinner and whatnot. So, as so, we slept in till, I mean, slept in till nine or 10 or whatnot. And uh, just now at about 1.30, o'clock in the afternoon, we're getting ready. So, that's the that's the update today. Not, might, might pull the drone out, might uh, get you guys some of that content here, but, uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. I'll see you guys on the trails.
table here. All right, day five, day five. Not too much going on here. Quick ride, about 60 miles today. Nothing crazy, got some GoPro footage. Might pull the drone out tomorrow. Yeah, we're just chilling right now. Everybody's uh, hanging out. We had a big spread, all of our leftovers from the week. And pretty good. Had some uh, corned beef. Corned beef was good. What else? What else? Yeah, we're chilling. I drank a coffee at 9.30 at night. And uh, I'm about to do some editing. So uh, you know how that rolls, baby. You know how that rolls. Okay. You got the official picture. <laughs> I got the official picture. We're editing it tonight. Alrighty guys, last ride of the trip. A little bit of 10 scratch nine action. Um, we're going about 100 miles, nothing too crazy. The sled's in the trailer right after we get back. Then go get a little fish fry di dinner, ride hard, finish the trip hard. We'll see you guys later. I'll get some GoPro footage for you. Peace. a.m. wake up call headed home seven hour drive today uh, I got the snowmobile already loaded up yep it's gonna be a good day see you on the road That's a wrap guys, quick seven hour drive. Now we're back here in Iowa, pulling into the house, gonna unload the snowmobile and uh, put the trailer back. So uh, your 2022 snowmobiling trip to Michigan is a success and completed. We'll see you guys the next time.